and you boil it in water. So once it's cool, nice and cold so that you can hold it in your hand, okay? And then you peel the potato. So what you could do is you could take your fingers and try to take the peel off, just like I am doing it. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a little bit to how you could peel the potato. It's super easy. When it's nice and soft and boiled, it's very easy to peel the potato. So I'm taking the skin off. This is the potato skin and I see the inside which is all nice and white. So use your fingers and you can help your mommy and daddy. Make sure you wash your hands because Pooja made sure that her hands are clean. Okay, so once you peel the potato, it's gonna look like this from the inside. Then I take the potato, I put it in a bowl, which I already have it ready here. And this one, either you use a masher like this, so you can mash it like this. So you put the potato in a bowl and you mash it. If you don't have that, what you could do is grate the potato. So I have a grate. I have something that can help me grate the potato, which is this. Okay, so this is for mommy and daddy. You have to do it in a, and you grate it. So it's easier just to mash it or you could use your, your fingers or your hands just to squish it, mash it because it's nice and soft. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is, other ingredient that goes in it is vegetables. These are frozen vegetables, okay? So I have some corn in there, I have carrot, I have beans, this is bean, and yeah, those are the vegetables in the potato, okay? So you can add any vegetables that you like. You have to cut them small. If you wanna use fresh vegetables, that's fine too. But I'm using frozen vegetables, okay? And then I'm gonna mix it into the mashed potato. So I'm gonna mix both of those. So I'm gonna mix it. So here's the potato and the vegetables. Do you see it? Yes? So there's yes. potato and the mix and the vegetables and I'm gonna mix it. So I'm gonna use a spoon to mix it. So it's nice and evened out and mixed well. Okay, so once I mix this, then I'm gonna need to add seasoning. That means I'm gonna add some salt, I'm gonna add, so you can add whatever seasoning you like or spices you like. If you don't like spices, you don't have to add it. You can just add salt, but I like spices. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to add some salt, a little bit of salt to taste. That's according to your taste, how much salt you like but I'm adding about quarter teaspoon of the salt in here. This is a full bowl, okay? Then I mix the salt, so mix, mix with your spoon. The next step is to add, I have this seasoning, it's called the Italian seasoning. <clears throat> I like the taste of the Italian herbs, so I'm gonna add some Italian seasoning in there. Okay, sprinkle a little bit and then mix it. You see the Italian seasoning? It's stuck to my spoon, so I'm gonna mix it. And then also I like some sour taste, so I'm gonna put some lemon. Okay, I got fresh lemon and I'm gonna squeeze lemon inside right just a few drops is good if you like sour taste if you don't you don't have to add the lemon okay 
you mix it make sure you mix it well so okay mix it and then i what you can do is you can help your mommy and daddy with your clean hands to make a patty out of it so for that we need to add some breadcrumbs okay because this doesn't puja doesn't eat egg so it's a veggie patty vegan patty so i'm going to put some breadcrumbs about 4 tablespoons so i'm going to take the spoon add 4 tablespoons of breadcrumbs in there for it to bind okay then once i have the breadcrumbs i'm going to use my hands to mix it And I'm going to try to make a patty out of it. So I'm going to take and make a ball just like this in my hand. And I'm, tr I'm trying to get a circle shape, right? Do you want to see it? I'm going to show you on the screen. I made a patty. Okay, it's a wedge patty. And then. <coughs> I'm going to turn on my stove. Okay. And I'm going to sprinkle some oil just a little bit so that it doesn't stick. It's a non stick pan. So you make many of them like this. You can make a few like these. And then you can. Once the pan is heated, you are going to, okay, mommy and daddy can put it in the pan for you and it's going to change color. Okay, so we're going to try one and see. So this is called a veggie patty. You can add spices if you like. You can add red chilies, cayenne pepper, whatever you like could be added to this. So that was, that was my husband, he's hiding from us. Okay, so here it is. It's gonna turn a little golden brown, okay? So it, look, it's well binded because of breadcrumbs. If you don't add breadcrumbs, you won't get a shape like this. And you won't be able to bind it and make a patty without the breadcrumbs. So very important is to add the breadcrumbs. So you have to be gentle so it doesn't break. Okay, and you will have to turn it so that it's cooked both sides. 